In this video, I want to talk about the patch draw block work table. What this does is it allows you to draw your own applique blocks. Uh, you could use the patch draw motif work table if you want to draw motifs that don't have a background square or rectangle, or for quilting stencils if you want to draw your own quilting designs. Uh, we'll be on the patch draw block work table and it defaults to the piece tab. We're not going to worry about the piece tab right now. We're going to go to the applique tab. And what I want to show you is how to manipulate the curves of patches. So I'm going to draw a simple shape. And you're basically just going to be using the shape tool. So I'll click on that and click on one of my curves. Now as I clicked on the curve you see these handles come out that's going to be your way of changing the shape of the curve. You can also just click and drag the curve around if you want to leave those handles at the same angle they're at and just move the, move the curve. You can do that. Or to get a little bit more precise and have a little bit more flexibility, you can use the handles. You can also move the nodes up and down. You can add nodes if you feel if you're doing something a little bit more intricate. You can add nodes, delete nodes, move them around. Um, to, to add a node, you double click on the line or double click to even remove the node. You can also use the precision bar to add a node and also to delete it. Reshape my curve here try to match my other side. Okay, so now I have my heart. Now one thing you might notice now is it's not quite symmetrical. Not every heart is symmetrical, but that's the look that I'm going for. I want a symmetrical heart. So what I'm going to do is duplicate this side. I like this side better than that side. So I'm going to simply click on this center node and use this option here, the break curve. Now while I'm looking at this, if you're not comfortable using these this precision bar option, because it's not really telling you what they are unless you hover over them, you can also click on this little red square on the shape tool. And this will bring up this edit node box. And that's just the same same features here as they are here and you can just use either one whatever you're more comfortable with so I'm going to click break and it broke that node so you see it's not filled in anymore and here that node is broken in two and here I'm going to do the same thing now I'm going to get the pick tool and delete this side now I want to clone that section. I'm going to use the clone button up here and flip and now I'll move this side into place. Now you can see down here this is not closed and I bet this isn't closed either. You can see that's a little off too. So we need to get the shape tool again. I just quickly close that and now I'm going to come down here and move these until they snap into place. And you can see my patch filled showing that it's a filled patch now. I like to center my patches on my block before going to the color tab so I simply just click on it with the pick tool and hit the center button. But you can also while you're here you can also reshape the or change the size of your patch if you'd like to do that too. So I'm going to hold the control key down and I can make it bigger or smaller or even duplicate it. I'll do two. So now I'm going to click the color tab. Oh, no, I want to go ahead and center those now. I'm going to click the color tab. And color my block. Now one thing I do want to go back and show you too 
is this panel over here. This is the Display Dynamic Tool Help. You can turn it on and off by just clicking this button up here. Now what it does is it gives you more information about a tool. If you hover over a different tool, it's going to change and give you more information about that tool just to learn a little bit more about how the tool works and the features of that tool. So I want to show you the shape tool actually. So I'm going to hover over the shape tool. If you go over here, you can see there's two tool options. The shape tool for the piece layer, which we're not on right now. We're going to go down to the applique layer. And I want to choose get more details. There's information here about the tool, but I want to get, choose get more details. And that's going to bring up the, the help that's included within the program. I just want to show you down here, since we're on the shape tool, it's going to give us all the information about the shape tool. And I wanted to show you there are illustrations in the help of what those precision bar options do for your curve. So this will help you understand what a corner really creates for you when you're shaping your curves and how these handles really work. And so again, to do that, you would just turn on the display dynamic help hover over your tool and click on the Get More Details option.